Welcome to Amazing World Adventures. Join us as we showcase tips and tricks to help you live your best life on the road. All right, let's talk tires. So for anybody who doesn't work around tires a lot, and that includes me, the numbers on tires can seem like they're written in a foreign language. Um, now, I just bought a new set of tires, which you can probably tell I haven't been mounted yet. Um, I'm going to get those mounted tomorrow, but I've just spent considerable time researching the what these numbers mean. And I will briefly explain it, but there are far better, more qualified people than me to cover that for you. What I really want to uh, cover in today's video is something that I had a really hard time finding reliable information about, which is can you change the size of the tires on the same rim without buying new rims, um, just change to different tires on the same rim, and if so, what would be the effect on your handling, your mechanics, whatever. Um, so right here, and, and uh, it's the size of these tires on the motorhome are 225-70R19.5. And I'll take the numbers a little bit out of order. So that 19.5 means that the diameter of the rim is 19.5 inches, 19 and a half inches. Um, that's pretty straightforward. And you can see that on any car, um, even bicycles, you know, they, they sell tires based on the diameter of the rim that the tires to be mounted on. So the, the, these other two set of numbers, the 225 slash 70, are a little bit harder to understand. And weirdly, tires use three different units of measurement. So this 225 means that across the face of the tread, the part that touches the road, that is 225 millimeters wide. Yes, all tires, the tread face is measured in millimeters, in metric, even though the rim size is measured in imperial units, in inches. And then this 70 is a percent. So it's a different unit altogether. Basically what it means is that the distance from the rim to the edge of the tread, the difference for, distance from the rim to the, to the road, is 70% of the width of the face of the tread. Why they use 70%, I'm not really sure, but that's what it is. So 225 means that my tread is 225 millimeters across at its face. The 70 means that the sidewall is set, the height of the sidewall is 70% of the distance across the tread. And then the, the R means that it's a radial tire. And then the 19.5 means that it goes on a 19 and a half inch rim. Um, in this particular size, there are only three widely available tires. Um, there's the 225.70, 225.65, and 245.70, or 245.75, sorry, 245.75. Um, so I didn't want the 65s, but there was, I had the question, should I put the same size tires, the 225.70s on, or should I go for the larger 245.75s? Now clearly I have, uh, this is the front wheel, the steer tire, I have plenty of space in the wheel well that I could accommodate an extra 20 millimeters. It'd be 10 millimeters on this side and 10 millimeters on the other side, or you know, 20 millimeters across the face. And then the 75, um, because that's 75% of the face, um, it would end up being about an inch taller. Um, and I could easily accommodate that here. In the back, I have dual wheels. And the issue there, even though I measured between the duals and there's about two inches of space. So if I got the 245s, that would mean that on the outside of the inner duel and the inside of the outer duel would add an extra 10 millimeters of tread for a total of 20 millimeters. Um, I would still have enough space 
The problem is that now there's no longer a sufficient gap. That gap is actually important for airflow to cool the tires. And also, the most important of all is that as the tires flex as you're going down the road, whether you hit bumps or uh, like on this one, if the tire pressure gets a little bit low, the sidewalls can bulge out. And if they both bulge out and they touch, then it's going to increase the wear on the tires and you could get a catastrophic failure on both tires. So if you have duals, then you need to make absolutely certain that there's going to be enough space between them if you go for a wider tire or add spacers. So ultimately I ended up choosing to go for the same size tire, um, but I was really close to getting the larger tires. The effect would have been that because of the increase in diameter, because of the higher sidewall, the, the increase in diameter of the tires would mean that my speedometer and my odometer would be off by about 3%. Because um, the, the difference in diameter between this tire and the next size up is about 3% dis difference. Um, this tire will rotate 633 times per mile and the larger tires, the 245 75s, would rotate 617 times per mile. Um, that 3%, I think, is within the tolerance because no speedometer or odometer is precise. They're all just, you know, roughly accurate. And I think that that 3% is totally within the, the acceptable range. Though someone did point out that you could get your computer reprogrammed to recognize that you have larger tires so that all of a sudden the speedometer and the odometer would be accurate. Uh, that wouldn't work on this coach because it's a 95 and it has an analog speedometer and an analog odometer um, and the computer. It does have a computer, but it doesn't control all that much because it was in the early days of computers. But on anything newer, literally from 96 and newer, um, then vehicles had much more sophisticated computers and that could be done. But that's the big difference is uh, if you change the, the size of the tire, um, it may affect the performance of dual wheels and also um, you need to just make sure that you'll have enough room in the fender well for steering and things like that.